Hey everybody, it's Carl Brown here with GuitarLessons365.com and today we're going to talk about pinch harmonics. If you don't know what a pinch harmonic is, it basically sounds a little bit like this. So we're basically playing normal notes down in the left hand and we are creating that kind of squealing harmonic sound with our pick. Um, these things are also called artificial harmonics, squealies, uh, screaming harmonics and they're used a lot in hard rock and and metal music but also you'll, you'll find them in more um, like blues or whatever just it's really happens when somebody's really kind of digging into the string so let's talk about the technique that's that you need to get or to get to get this kind of sound going um, it adds a lot of vibrancy to the notes and uh, it, it's a big feel thing so it's one of these things where it's kind of difficult to teach um, I can show you what's happening, and then as soon as you get it down, like you feel it for the first time, you make it happen, then it just becomes automatic. You don't really think about it anymore. You, they just pop out whenever you want them to. So let's talk about what's happening here with this harmonic. I have a standard uh, kind of jazz style pick here, so I'm going to grab a more common style of pick here, and so you can actually see it better, what's going on with this uh, technique. When you have your thumb across the pick, like normal, okay, when you have that set up, um, when you want to hit the harmonic, they call it a pinch harmonic, it's basically letting you know what's going on with the area around the pick. When you squeeze something, the skin of your thumb kind of goes around the edge of the pick. That's how, why they call it the pinch harmonic, even though people really aren't pinching the pick. They're just kind of readjusting or at their angle that they hit the pick on the string in order so we can have this effect. What's happening during a, uh, a pinch harmonic is the pick is hitting the string at the same time that the flesh of the thumb is. So what you, they're trying to do is if they lay back or whatever, they can angle it so the pick is kind of flatter instead of straight onto the string and it's going to strike the edge of the thumb the same time the tip of the pick. So uh, I don't know how close you can see this but I have the little tip of the pick coming out here and what you I'm aiming for here is when I hit the pit the string when you hit the string that's a normal hit right? Then I'm going to take my thumb and just move it closer to the edge of the pick that way the right around the, the very side of the thumb the side flesh of the side of the thumb right where the, about the first knuckle joint is. That I'm going to try to have hit the string behind the pick. So you have the pick in front of it and then back behind it on the same string, the edge of the thumb is also going to be hitting the string at the same time. Now what's happening is this, just like when you play a normal harmonic, okay, there are that's a harmonic node point is what you can call that and there are those all over the guitar and so what's going on is instead of your your finger playing it you're picking the note and then the flesh of your thumb is actually the one that's uh, that's playing the harmonic node point so instead of a pick and your finger over here playing a harmonic you're having the pick and then your thumb joint right behind it or the flesh the side edge of your thumb is now on a harmonic node point. And to get used to that technique and practice it, you need to set your, your pick up in some way to where you can have the pick, the tip of the pick and the edge of the thumb, side of the thumb, hit the string at the same time. And then to make sure you get the sound down, just dance up and down the string. Try to keep the same attack on every one. After you get the harmonic going, see I got a harmonic there, then I can move it up and down the string and you'll notice that the pitch will change because you're, 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 at, you're hitting different harmonic node points. So it'll sound like this. So you'll see my pick, my thumb is almost over the edge of the pick, um, just coming over the tip of that pick so I can have this skin hit the same time as this, I get the little tip of the pick right there and I can really, and it, sometimes it helps to kind of angle your pick down 
So it lets that, that flush of that thumb become level with the end of the pick. All right? Now, one of the most recognizable things when people do this, I mean, you might have heard that a little bit for effect and done in a song. It's actually easier to just go. But, um, but usually when people do these like it's kind of screaming pinch harmonics, they add a lot of vibrato on that note. So if I just hit the note like normal, doesn't sound, I mean, it's obviously a different than the average basic note. But what most people do is they put heavy vibrato on the note. Here's the note flat, and then, and that's just taking a note and just bending it. All right, and it's, so that is just as recognizable, it makes the technique sound just as much as the pick does. A, a lot of heavy vibrato in the hand, a fast, wide vibrato in the left hand when you get these notes going. So I would just, you know, the harmonic note points, every time you play one on the guitar neck, that, this, the harmonic note points up here changes where you'll be doing your harmonic. But you'll notice that it'll just become a natural feel thing. I mean, I'm not really paying attention to being over certain harmonic note points in my, with my picking hand. Um, you know, you'll, you'll get to know your guitar well and, and where those points are, and it'll just become kind of automatic. They're all over the place, and you're not, not necessarily you're going to know what pitch each one of those harmonics is. I mean, you may get technical about it and try to figure all that out. But for the most part, most guys just, you know, just nail them um, just for effect. It's more of an effect than actually trying to hit certain notes. All right, so I hope this clears up uh, some of the mystery about what's going on when you hear those big screaming notes coming out of uh, guitars. It's also helpful before you leave uh, to make sure you use an amp with a lot of gain on it, a lot of distortion. Uh, the more, the better. Um, it makes these things a lot easier. That's why it's very uh, common to hear this technique in hard rock and, and metal, because uh, those styles obviously have the, uh, the gain uh, boosted quite a bit. Uh, but you know you can also practice these things on a cleaner channel and and if you can get them out on those um, then you know when you crank up the distortion it's gonna really really rip okay all right so I'll see you guys at guitarlessons365.com uh, please go there and support the site and uh, stay tuned for the next lessons thanks bye bye